And in another update to the state medical scene, thousands of Texans became eligible for what's called the Texas Compassionate Use Program last week. Yeah, the new law expands the number of patients who can use medical cannabis to treat symptoms. Our KMAX Ryan Chandler spoke with local patients about these changes. Yeah, Lauren, the Texas Compassionate Use Program allows Texans with serious illnesses like epilepsy and neurodegenerative disorders to find treatment through low THC cannabis oil. This year, the Texas legislature expanded the program to allow any Texan living with cancer or PTSD to qualify for the treatment and increase the THC limit in the medicinal oil. I spoke with patients about what the program has meant for their lives and how a former crime has become a cure. I was in so much pain that that's all there was 24 seven. After Casey Lusk was diagnosed with a rare neurodegenerative disease three years ago, the pain was unmanageable. Taking 180 opioid pain pills a month just to function. It, it scares me. My brother had the same thing. He died of organ failure because of all the prescription drugs they were giving him. I don't want to end up like my brother. But a year ago, Casey qualified for the Texas Compassionate Use Program. Since then, he says he's cut his opioid intake by two thirds. Talk to any patient in the Texas Compassionate Use Program and they'll tell you a miracle story. Patients like Julia Patterson, a freshman at Texas A&M who never knew she would make it that far. I was on a ventilator having had my first major seizure. After major brain surgeries, medical implants, and dozens of combinations of medications. Nothing worked. My doctors tried every conventional method but I had 200 seizures a day. Under the Compassionate Use Program, I was first prescribed medical marijuana, and within just two months, I was completely seizure-free. Advocates say Texas's expanded program is a step in the right direction, but one too timid to treat all Texans who they say could benefit. We frankly don't see any reason for um, you know people with political science degrees to be telling people with medical science degrees what to do when it comes to treating people. Sometimes it takes the winds of change a little bit of time to shift directions, but once they get there, boy, do they howl. The, the winds behind medical cannabis are gonna blow harder than the West Texas winds. Until then, current patients say they will find comfort in today's law while fighting for tomorrow's. I have medicine that works, no side effects, no addiction, and I know it's not gonna kill me. Now about 7,500 Texans are currently enrolled in the Compassionate Use Program, but with this expansion, the state estimates more than 2 million Texans are eligible.